12-year-old Morgan Geyser and Anissa Weir accused of attempted murder of their 12-year-old friend. One suspect held the victim down while the other suspect stabbed her 19 times in the arms, legs, and torso. Many of the stab wounds struck major organs, but incredibly and thankfully, the victim survived. The man who discovered her described the scene. Does she have a bike or anything with her? No, I don't see it. One sandal is off, but you know, maybe three feet away from her. The motive, say police, to win the favor of a fictional internet horror character named Slenderman. The plan, stab their friend to death, then head to Slenderman's fictitious mansion in Wisconsin's Nicollet National Park. The Slenderman character, often tall, faceless, with long, sharp tentacles, was created in 2009 by writer Eric Knudsen. Since then, it's taken on a life of its own. The character used and referenced in horror stories online and elsewhere. The girls accused of attempted murder found the character on the horror fantasy website creepypasta.wikia.com. A parent would never let a 45-year-old male in the bedroom of a 12-year-old girl. But if you leave your 12-year-old girl in that bedroom with a computer with internet access and close the door, that's exactly what you're doing. Police say Geyser and Weir plotted for months the best way to kill their friend. According to authorities, they first plotted to duct tape her mouth and stab her in the neck. Then they wanted to stab her in the park bathroom because they said there was a drain on the floor for the blood to go down. After arguing nervously in the bathroom about who would stab the victim, they decided to go in the woods and kill her while playing a game of hide and seek. Police say that's when Geyser, holding the knife, was told by Weir, go ballistic, go crazy. Geyser responded, don't worry, I'm just a little kitty cat, and then began stabbing her friend. Her heart, liver, pancreas, all stabbed, and one stab wound coming within a millimeter of a major artery. You just don't know what gets in these kids' heads. I guess parents need to get more involved. Parents of the young suspect trying to make sense of it all. Morgan's parents are very sad about what has happened. They're horrified. And our condolences to everyone. Miguel, I mean, you know, police say that this is a fictitious character, and which is, I guess, it's very hard to understand watching this, how they could take this and turn it into a reality. But, but they obviously, you know, enmesh themselves in this world. Have you found out more about this site, Slenderman and Creepy Pasta? What it's called? Well, look, Slenderman is incredibly popular, and it sort of populates the internet at large. There are uh, films re related to it. There's lots of websites that have it on on it. These girls found Slenderman on creepypasta.wikia.com back in October. They started reading it there. It features very, very heavily on that site, but it is everywhere. Police are now looking at their computers, trying to figure out what the entire planet, the entire world of what they were looking at online to see what else was influencing these girls in the, in the days and months leading up to this horrific crime.